Hey everyone, welcome back. Ben here at Hockey Fabrication and Speed with Billy. And I do want to start this video off making a point to let everyone know about our plans with the Tesla Evo and the design work that we've done. I know that initially and through various parts of the series on this project, I've mentioned that we were planning on building jigs so that we could reproduce these parts and sell them to anybody that may have interest in doing this in the future. Unfortunately, as we've gone through this process and we've learned about how many different variables there are from the different types of drive units that are on the market for electric cars, as well as the different tolerances we have, there's just too many variables to justify the cost and the time that it would take to build jigs and reproduce these in the future, given all those variables. What this means is ultimately, if someone like any of you out there watching this series have interest in having this done to your own vehicle, we'd be more than happy to accommodate you, but we would obviously want to do it right. And the proper way to do that is with a vehicle here. This doesn't mean that we won't do this again if someone approaches us. We're more than happy to do that, of course. However, it means that we are not able to reproduce these components and just simply ship them to you and allow you to do this work in the future. There's just unfortunately too many variables at play. I wanted to start the video and make it explicitly clear on that because I want to ensure that anybody that has questions about that knows how we're approaching it in the future. So if you do have questions and have interest in having an electric vehicle built, whether it be an Evo or doing a conversion in another body style, feel free to get in touch with us and we can approach that as, as they come. So with that being said, let's move on to the project. Now, as you know, we have installed the front drive unit and it is not complete. We've seen many comments on the, the uh, post that we made on social media with just the pictures asking about whether we're adding reinforcement or if we're going to be, um, you know, adding a front to rear roll bar set up on it. The answer is we are not finished yet with the front drive unit. We're not even finished mounting the rear drive unit. We're adding rigidity and yes, we are going to be adding a front to rear roll bar mount on the front drive unit as well as reinforcing what's already been built. So that's a quick status update on where we are in the project which is nearing completion as you can see and we're going to move forward with building those brackets and reinforcing everything and show you guys the process and before you know it we'll be finished. Well as I mentioned before we will be reproducing this in the future on an as needed basis upon order, but it will not be a reproducible uh, kit that we can just ship anywhere as we had originally hoped. It will just be something that we can have customers bring their vehicles in and we will build it in real time with the actual chassis, which is the right way to do it. Hey guys, it's Billy here. Currently working on the Tesla Evo right now. Right now what I'm doing is I'm cutting these chromoly tubes and what this is going to do is this is going to create more rigidity when I weld it back up here into the frame here. Right up here. I just need to shape it just a little bit more. And then there'll be one more on this side. And then we'll be adding some gusseting to the rest of it. And I'm forever angry, but I don't know why. I'm such a good guy, but all these felons inside been taking me for a ride. I need somewhere to hide. I've been talking to God. I need someone to guide. Oh, well, fuck it, I try. A lot of shit on my mind. I've been thinking of time, cause I've been taking my time. Just trying to sit in the wine, trying to sip on some wine. Falling out of line, feeling like I'm running out of time. Every day the same shit because I'm looking for a sign. Instead of chasing it, the good or the bad, I'm embracing it. If you make it bad, yeah, then you gotta lay in it. Reality, I'm facing it. Finally managed to figure out the right positioning and the right amount of uh, 
shaving and cutting I need to do in order to get it right. It's a pretty solid fit up right here. Next, just gotta tack in place. My grandmom's gotta spend time with the fam when you have time And I just wanna thank God cause he done done a great job And molded me to be a better man just for mankind We was young and dumb but that feeling never faded Knew that you was the one that's why I never downgraded Depression caught up to me and it made me isolated The only one I was ever comfortable around naked It was times I messed with other girls and had to fake it Even through all the BS you told me that I would make it Gave me your heart and told me take it but never forsake it You cut up my my jersey but i deserve it if i'm not mistaken i wouldn't trade it all because of the memories we created so happy i was at bsu when you graduated all the time that was wasted you on my mind i'm wasted pick up the phone let it ring once and hang up aggravated because i was in a situation that made me deflated and i kept thinking about you like frank ocean on the station one sunny day in september i finally lost my temper and hit your line saying let's make this one to remember your so-called friend tried to tell you i'm a pretender I think she want what you got, but let me not offend her. The truth will set you free as long as you surrender. And if you send in bad vibes, then I return to sender like that. We've got our gussets already welded completely on the back side here and we've started adding some plates like I said. So the next thing that we're working on is finishing in the rigidity tie-in for the chassis on the rear drive unit. We've got enough tie-in on the front here but with this rear bar that comes around here it's really only connected horizontally at this mounting point here which does not give it enough stability uh, above and below. So what I wanted to do was add in another tie-in to the chassis and what I came up with and, and just got confirmation from Arm, Armin, the owner, on doing here is we have the connections here for the rear seat belts, which we know are a strong chassis point given their purpose and the fact that it's going to be used to help save lives. We know that it's a rigid mount and normally there's a bolt that just comes through here and it's not this long. Well, Armin has explained he is planning on still using the rear seat belts. So what I've done is I've simply removed the bolt that holds them in and it's extended now with a longer bolt so that I have something to tie into. And my plan is to simply uh, run up a bracket right here, which will tie in to the chassis so that it'll give it much more strength and stability uh, upward and downward so that if anything's pulling downward on it from the the uh, the drive unit during operation It will have the rigidity come up from here. So That's my plan and where we're at on this at this point. I've got the next steps for finishing the rigidity and um, Strengthening the rear drive unit mount after we finish all of the bracketry the gusseting and I tie it into here we'll be able to drop this unit uh, out. We will remove the frame, finish all the welding and the bracketry that we can't access while it's mounted in, reinstall everything in the rear and the rear will be 100% complete. Then we'll finish moving on to the same finishing checklist on the front, making sure that we have all of our boxing, our triangulation, we have our gusseting, our rigidity all in place and then it will be 100% complete as well.
So now I've added those brackets to help reinforce and support the front section of this rear drive unit. As I mentioned, I'm bolting into the rear seat belt connection. So the bolt goes through the seat belt on the inside, comes through as an extended bolt, and then it gives me a connection that I can join it to. And I've used a little bit of chromoly tube right there to make that connection nice and strong. And I think that's gonna give me the support that I was looking for on this front side of the rear unit. So it's at that moment of, uh, we're at that point now where I'm ready to go ahead, I think, and remove this rear drive unit so that I can finish up adding the gusseting and bracketry that we have planned out that I can't really reach without removing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this thing out. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We now have completed the rear subframe for the Tesla swapped Evo 8. It's hard to believe that we were just looking at this a few months ago with an empty subframe or really just an empty rear, rear chassis here, trying to figure out what we were gonna do and boom, there you go. Physically in front of me right now. It's a pretty wild looking thing. And you can tell now why I was speaking earlier in the video about not being able to justify building a jig for this thing just because of all the variables, not only with the design work, but also with the options for these motors. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the front drive unit. We have added in some triangulation into this driver, or yes, the driver's side mount here, which I need to get welded up. And I also want to add in some more rigidity to the passenger side front mount. The final thing that I need to do then is figure out a way to build a mount that keeps this thing from rolling forward to rear. And they call it a roll, a center roll bar mount or center front bump steer mount is I believe the correct term. In the Mitsubishi world, it's Friday, so forgive me if my brain isn't working cor correctly I'm at the end of the week here on that, but that's what I've gotta do aside from adding rigidity and finishing up the rigidity that we've added into these front mounts here. So, um, yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get the engine hoist back out on this thing, because I really just have it hanging here for the fun of being able to say that, hey, it's in there. But we need to get it supported, pull the mounts out, get some more reinforcement in them, finish up the bump steer. And then we can send this all off to powder coat, finish install, 
and our part of this project will be complete. Uh, at that point, once we get everything finished back up, we will be delivering the vehicle back to Armin and his, uh, back to his house. He is going to then be working on all the wiring and figuring out the batteries. And then at that point, we will be able to finish up this project. So, looks like UPS just dropped off some more materials and we'll get finished up on this to keep you guys in the loop. Have a good one. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Uh, Billy here. Welcome to uh, Ben and Billy Build Race Cars. Uh, oh.